So in this tutorial, so we'll look how the workflow can go in by using um, Vue, for example, create terrain, add plant, how we can import or what steps we need to take it to bring this inside the After Effects. And we will using After Effects 2019. The key component for this, it is use an application that will translate between Vue and After Effects. And in this case, we have it our anywhere. So you'll notice if we create, we can create a new uh, Cinema 4D light, or if you have a full version, whatever version you have it, but we can create this file. And as I said before, After Effects um, Creative Cloud 2019 come with the Cinema 4D Lite version, so I already have this. First, let's go create uh, some file inside the view. And right here, I have some terrain I created. Just to um, create different, we'll go and maybe, you know, add some plant. So let's go right here. We'll add a plant on the middle. Okay, we'll take main camera, bring out. And important for, not, for us, just take an export. Um, notice the size, so we will export in about the same size, quite a bit large tree. And we'll go to File. And what we want to do, it is export entire scene. In the area, we will specify where we want to export and what format. So we'll go use the Collada export. The other ones also will read FBX and you can play with some other settings. For purpose of the tutorial, we'll just use Collada. A couple things, we we'll can go over the export properties. So um, if we have it, we can also inherit alpha, add all the stuff, texture output as PNG images. So we'll export this. Also, um, let's go export sky if you need it. And this is, will be just a uh, background image we can use it as atmosphere XSR if you want it or you can go on a lower um, kind of quality also notice we export as a cube um, you can export as UV or other ones but cube for now will be working so we'll just add a little bit higher resolution on the image um, okay if we have a billboards currently we don't we want to export you maybe want to do if you have it some transparency leaves for that one and um, level of details we just disable so everything else by default settings of course with all this you can play a little bit more around see which one will work for you better after we're done let's go click export I already have one so I click yes and I want to override those files and it's take a depend on complexity or how much details you have it it can export um, take sometimes time mostly if you're creating like a lot of ecosystem or a lot of polygons, it will take some time to export. So just anticipate this um, in your case when you start exporting. Okay, as export complete here, we can go inside the After Effects. And in After Effects, we want to go File, New, and we actually want to create a new actual Cinema 4D file. After you create this file, your Cinema 4D will open. And you can now at this point, okay, let's go to just slightly make it smaller so we can preview top menu right here. We can go file and at this point we can go ahead and open or actually we want to, um, yeah, let's go to open new file, uh, for open, sorry, file that we saved before. And in this case, it's a Collada file we have. We'll leave it as default for now. Let's go click OK. And you'll notice that in a second when it's finished reading our files, so it will preload it our. OK, so right here we have it, our terrain is loaded. And of course, if you look on um, materials, you can see we have it, our materials present for a large tree and terrain. Um, camera currently set to this position we can readjust some plans like right here you can still move all of this stuff let's bring just camera closer from this angle example okay and of course if you're using version extreme uh, of the view you can do directly without going to the view but if you don't you can save and open as export otherwise you can go directly to the view and 
access from extreme directly to the cinema 4d uh, so now okay and after save let's go to after effects and now we need to take our cinema 4d file that uh, we just created and we'll just drop right above so on our timeline notice as we're putting on our timeline it will appear right here so we have it with our camera positioning um, if you work more with cinema 4d you can actually create camera you can animate this camera and all of this will pass inside cinema 4d so you can actually synchronize camera and do other stuff think about this it is um, cinema 4d file open inside after effects but has before the terrain and plant it's coming from vu as well we also have our um, background our atmosphere save it so we can import that as well to set up but again this is additional options all of that you can go and do inside the cinema 4d and save it and that will directly translate it on this case you have a true 3d file that you're working with um, but in after effects you not exactly can manipulate with camera here except if we export the camera for the cinema 4d uh, we can kind of navigate and work with the camera inside as well so the example we can create new camera right here we set our camera to different position okay we can also go create another camera camera one same we can go ahead and set this different camera if needed okay let's go save this one in after effects we can select um give it a second till it's updating so and we have it our uh, select camera okay and we can set different cameras that we have before so this is our camera one which is we'll bring closer and we also have it our other camera if you remember take a second till it's updating so and those is different cameras that we're creating inside the cinema 4d and you can use them with the project um, settings okay so this is really very rough workflow but it's showing you steps what you can do um, you can experiment a bit more with uh, working with the textures example animation cameras and other things and um, I'm actually will create a tutorial that is go step by step with details on everything um, because it's part of the project I'm currently working with uh, through all the workflows that will affect from Vu to Cinema 4D to um, After Effects and to the Premiere Pro. So we'll have that workflow with tutorials. But overall, this is fast kind of overview um, steps you can take it to import the scenery inside from Vu.